All right, you guys. Uh, most of you guys have been asking me recently about booster managers. Let's get into it. Now, obviously, these booster managers comes with a set of players as well. Okay? You have to combine, for instance, is your purpose buying them purely for the booster manager or for the players too? And also, you have to decide, is any of these players going to be an, an upgrade to what you already have? Is it a different version? Then you can go for it. Now, if I focus on the players, for instance, I mean, this is not mainly about the players, so I'm going to keep it simple about the managers only. We'll do the player reviews later. But for me, what stands out, like Saliba for Arsenal, uh, Varane for Manu, and definitely Wambasaka. For Barcelona, I would definitely say um, Cancelo. That stands out big time. There are other ones. Now, obviously, I buy all three of them. I didn't really need to buy all three of them. I don't need them. When it comes to the details, what makes these managers stand out each manager gives your entire squad one plus on one ability. For instance, what's his name? Arteta gives one plus to low pass. Ten Hag gives one plus to speed. While you have Xavi gives one plus to ball control. Now one plus, it's not much. But what they, the other thing that they do have, because they have 80, 85 proficiency, as you can see it here. Ten Hag has 85 and long ball counter, meaning you're going to get two plus on all abilities. And that's the that's the feature that even a GP manager has. Like for long ball counter, if you sign Valbuena, which is with GP, technically free, he's got 85 proficiency for long ball counter. So even with three GP managers, you do get two plus um, on all players ability, all of all abilities for, for your squad. There are five top five managers who have proficiency 85. One for counter, one for position. I've spoke about it in a manager guy video. So, with the correct calculation for certain players, like if you have an epic booster card and you have a booster manager, which they are proficiency 85 in a way. But before we get into that, I'm giving you one example for players how the booster, booster manager plus booster epic plus squad bonus will give you like five up to five um ability bonus long ball counter is probably going to be everybody's uh first to go if you like position i recommend you going for arteta why because with arteta you can play two other tactics you can play quick counter and out wide with chavi you can only play quick counter i mean if you never play out wide may as well go for chavi but also remember if you don't know with these managers you can only if you don't want to lose um the two plus squad bonus, you have to play their main position, main tactic. He's got position 85 um, right here if it's not. As long as you use the position game, 85 higher proficiency, you'll get two plus on all your players, just like GP manager, and one plus on ball control of all your players, just one. If you go quick counter, proficiency 70, you lose the two plus on all your players, you still get one plus. If you go long ball counter, which is go 18, that means all your players 95 rated will turn into like a bunch of 60 rated. You don't want that. But now I'm going to give you an example of one particular player who's a booster, right? Literally gives them like 5 plus. Now you can't do that for your entire team. Like let's take Makaleli, right? I gave him, the way I trained him, I gave him 79 speed. First of all, he's got the booster skill, which already gives him two. So, an epic booster card gets two on speed. The manager's proficiency, that is 85, gives two plus on all ability. And the booster manager gives him one speed, 10 hag in particular. Meaning he's got a total of five. So when I put him in a squad... With all the bonuses with Ten Hag, I mean, we're talking about a epic booster card with a booster manager who has 85 proficiency. So if you don't combine all that together, the booster managers, in a way, like by themselves, just one plus, it's really not a not a big game changer, really, in a way. But when you calculate it with others, now we have Michael in the squad. You can see his speed is going from. 79 to 84 so he's go five plus so we're talking about two plus for the 85 manager proficiency 
two plus because he's a booster um, epic with a technique of dueling increases to on defensive awareness, tackling, and speed. And one plus for Ten Hag is um, boosted as well. So when you train your players, you got to calculate everything in a way. So what, what makes these booster managers, you pay technically paying for them because of the one plus. I mean, sometimes that one plus can make 89, 90. You're changing a tier color. And in my opinion, can make a difference. Beyond that, yeah, your GP managers can still do the same thing. GP manager gives two plus to all players. So you have to decide for yourself. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I mean, for Makaleri, for example, I make it speed 79. Because I only give him like a couple of points for speed, I was able to increase his physical contact. And I'm testing Makaleri. If for a short guy, if I don't need that physicality, you know what I mean? If Pedri still fucking shoulders me and I'm on the floor, then yeah, I don't need that. But that's a perfect example. Hopefully that's helpful. Those of you guys been asking me a lot on Twitter and here about booster managers. Now, in terms of the players that are within the pack, as I said, a couple of players are worth it. A couple is, and it's a set pack, really. Those of you guys here on Twitch, if you have any questions, let me know. Those of you guys on YouTube, comment down below. Let's go for another match. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't need to buy everything because I'm a streamer.